So in this video, we're going to see how we can use a single Terraform script to set up an environment in both the Symfony on-premises region, as well as the AWS public cloud. So first let's log into Symfony. So this is the Symfony user interface. And if we go down to the networking overview, there's a nice page here that shows um, everything that's been instantiated in the infrastructure so far. And as you'll see, there's only an edge network. And an edge network is just a network to help us get to the outside world. So we're pretty much starting from scratch in this Symfony environment. Um, if we scroll, go over to this window, I'm gonna show you the script, the, the Terraform script that we're gonna be using to create the environment. So if we look at the script here, what we see is we're gonna be creating a couple of um, VPCs. And these VPCs are gonna have some subnets in them. And uh, VPC one is gonna have an instance in it and uh, BBC2 is going to have an RDS instance that's based on MySQL. Uh, you'll see that we're creating a couple of internet gateways and routes to be able to get out to the internet. And if we continue to scroll down, we're creating security groups for the instances and the, uh, the RDS instance, and um, as well as some elastic IPs that will be associated with them so that we can have IPs to, to, um, to get there so we can connect and we give some options for DHCP. So now if I just do a Terraform apply, uh, what we'll see is that uh, the Terraform script will be run. It'll instantiate everything that I showed you that was in that script. And what you'll see in the uh, Symphony UI over here is you'll see that um, these entities will start to be created and connected automatically. So. As you see, the VPCs have been created. And then what we'll see over time is it'll go on and create the subnets, the instances, um, and attach the floating IPs or elastic IPs to those instances. And you can see that in a very automated way, this uh, symphony is building this entire um, infrastructure that we wanted it to build. And it happens in a matter of, of minutes. So we'll just let that run for a while until it completes. So now you see that the applying of the Terraform script is completed. Uh, you'll notice here in the Symfony UI that we have our um, instances that have been created with floating IPs attached in this subnet. We have a couple of VPCs that are attached to this ed net edge network. And then we have this uh, RDS um, instance, this MySQL database behind this other subnet. And this is what gets shown on this nice overview page for the networking. And we can also go in here um, back to the home page and we can look at the individual instances that have been spun up so you'll see that we have a database instance and the other two instances uh, we can go to the individual networks and look at the networks and see that we do have our three subnets that have been created so based on this terraform automation we've created uh, this environment um, in the symphony on-premises region now let's look at what would happen if we did the same thing in the um, aws region so here we have the same script. This is our AWS console. And um, you'll notice that we have, if we look at our under EC2, right now we have zero running instances. If we look at our RDS instances, um, you'll see that uh, we have no database instances running either. And in terms of the VPCs that are currently running in AWS, uh, we can go check on those as well and you will see that there are two vpcs running so just like we did for the uh, symphony region we can do the same terraform apply and now we're just pointing our endpoint into the aws public cloud so we can apply the terraform script and what we'll see very similarly to what we just saw in the um, symphony example we'll see this terraform script running in aws and we'll start to see that um, we started with zero running instances, 
And over time, these instances are going to be created as well as the VPCs and the RDS instance as well. So if we refresh the screen, you'll see that now we have a couple of instances that are initializing and they're pending. And uh, over time, once they get created, you'll see that they're in the active running state. Again, if we go to our VPC, now we have four VPCs where prior to that we had two VPCs. So we've just created a couple more VPCs here. Uh, one for our regular instances or EC2 instances and the other for our RDS instance, which we should look at now and see that the RDS instance is also in the process of being created. And you'll see that we have uh, one database instance and that's a MySQL instance that is being that is in the creating stage. So this entire environment is also being created. So we're going to sit back and wait until the, the full environment is done. Okay, so now the Terraform script has been completely applied. If I just refresh this window on our RDS instances page, now we'll see that we do have a database that is completely instantiated and available. If we go back and look at our EC2 instances, if now we have two running instances where prior we had zero. So these two instances are running. And if we look at the VPCs that we created, Remember, we started with two VPCs. Now we have four VPCs um, as well. So, so that's it. Now we've seen how with the same Terraform script, uh, we can instantiate a, um, an, an infrastructure in both the Symfony on-premises region as well as in the AWS public cloud.